Hi everyone, this is Mike at Brash Monkey, and this quick tip video is going to be all about copying and pasting the objects in Spryder. So now I have my image on my canvas in my first keyframe. Now let's say I want to go further along in the timeline, and let's say somehow this object was not here on this keyframe. The important thing to know is if I drag this image from the files palette, here like this, uh, according to Spryder, you did not put another instance of this same uh, crab head object in this case. You've put another instance of it that just happens to use the same image. So you can see as I drag through this timeline, the head doesn't tween from one spot to the other. So let's go back to this situation where we have an instance of the crab head on the first frame, and in the second frame, we don't yet have it. But we want the same crab head so we can tween. Uh, what we need to do is just copy the crab head from anywhere on the timeline where it does exist, go to the keyframe where we want the crab to continue to exist, and pr press Control V. And now you'll see that if I move the crab head and drag on the timeline, it tweens from one to the next. So here we have this one object on two different keyframes. So what happens now if I copy and paste the crab head from one uh, keyframe to the next? Because it's already there, Spryder isn't going to create a second crab head in the second keyframe because it is the same object. What it's going to do is it's going to copy and paste over the position, the rotation, and the opacity. Okay, so let me go here and press Control V to paste since I had already pressed Control C here earlier on my first keyframe. And now you see that both keyframes are identical because they only include this one object. And both frames already had the object. So when I pasted from frame one to frame two, all it did was transfer all of the positional, rotation, and opacity information uh, to the same instance of the object. So now let's make things a little bit trickier. Let's say we have a character that we fully animated. After the fact, you decide you need to add some other sprites to the character and give him sort of a set of John Lennon style glasses. So here's the first one. And um, another good trick to know is if you hold control while you click and drag a sprite, that will actually create another um, another object that uses the same image. But of course, not only are they only in that first keyframe, but they're not associated with the head bone, so they don't move along with the head. So to fix that, all we have to do is select that bone, hold the B key, B for bone, and click on each of the lens images. I'm going to hold the control key so I can select multiple sprites at once, select them both, press control C, and then there's actually an option to paste to all keyframes. And you can either find that here, paste to all keys, or press control shift V. And once you do that, you'll see when I pasted it, not only did their transform information that get pasted to each keyframe, but the fact that they're a child of the head bone got pasted as well. But there is one last aspect to adding something to a character after the fact, after he's already been fully animated, that can make things complicated, and that's a matter of Z order. So I'm actually going to take this um, explosion effect, drag it onto the screen on the first keyframe, scale it however I need it, something like this, in adjusted Z order so that it's behind the head there. So now we have this crazy uh, puffy color for this character. Um, and we're going to do the same thing. In this case, we're going to assign it to the main torso bone. So I'm going to select the bone, hold B, and then click on the uh, image there for the collar. Then I'm going to reselect that collar image, control C. Control shift v to paste it onto all frames, and you'll see when I pasted, it uh, basically broke the, uh, the Z order. But luckily, all I need to do is fix that Z order on one keyframe, and then choose Edit, 
and then there's an option copy the order to all of their frames so don't worry even if you're pasting new stuff and you need it in a very specific arrangement in Z order throughout the animation you only need to fix or tweak your Z order in one frame and then choose uh, copy Z order to all frames and you'll see now he's all pimped out with his uh, cool sunglasses and his uh, crazy uh, funkadelic collar and that's it for this quick tip video the next one will be about copying and pasting keyframes thanks for watching